Hey guys, Rob here from the Subi Sanctuary, and uh, you guys are looking at my brand new whip, 1997 Pontiac Firefly, and uh, I got it for um, an estate sale. This is a one owner car, 131,000 kilometers on it. For you Americans, that's less than 100,000 miles, I think. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna go over the car and see if uh, this was a good purchase or if I was blinded by the fuel economy of this little white egg. Let's dive into it and see what we find. Well, the interior I would say is pretty tidy. Even has the original Pontiac floor mats. So that was nice. Of course, the lady that owned this was not into mods. Everything is completely original with the car. Let's take a look to see what's under the hood. That's right. It's got the big block. The four-cylinder. This car has triple-digit horsepower, I think, or close to it. Uh, unfortunately, the engine is mated to an automatic transmission. Um, eh, can't get them all. So, that's about all the interesting stuff under the hood of the car. No power steering, no air conditioning, not many options at all. Let's see what else we find. Look at that fancy trunk release. All right, first thing, hatch struts are bad because nobody ever replaces their hatch struts. In the trunk we have a bunch of random fluids, uh, some Windex, and a snow brush. And I'm not sure if these are wheel chocks. What are these? I don't know. We'll throw those back in there. And here is what really sold me on this car. This entire bag is full of the vehicle service history. And I haven't gone through it all, but I did peek and I found she had spent a lot of money. Most of it dealer maintained. You could see that from, uh, that's the dealership she purchased it at. And uh, she took care of it. So I think first thing we're gonna do, give her a little tidy. It's not bad inside, but it can be cleaner. And then after that, I'll make some room and we'll put her up on the hoist. See if I got a good deal or if I've uh, purchased myself a project. Never seen one of these before. I think that's gonna stay with the car, that's cool. For those of you that don't know what this is, 
I went to Catholic school, so I have a little bit of experience. Um, you light these candles inside, and then you put these by a tombstone for somebody. To keep a Pontiac Firefly on the road in Canada for 25 years, that's some dedication, so this one's for you, Maria. All right, I did notice something really interesting. That is what it's supposed to look like. It's just a little hinge for the privacy cover. And on this side, looks like it broke off and someone handmade a wooden replacement. That's pretty cool. Now that we've got the interior looking pretty fresh and minty, it's time to give the exterior a quick wash. Now before any of you detail guys come out there saying I'm scratching up the clear coat and swirl marks and stuff, I want you to remember, um, 25 year old daily driver paint, not as good as it might look on camera. Like there's been some pretty nasty touch ups in places, so this paint will never be nice paint. It may have been 25 years ago, but now it's simply something covering the metal. So, I still want to see what it looks like when it's a bit cleaned up. I'm going to give it the saddest bucket wash you guys have ever seen. Uh, I'm not going to use garden hose because there's a lot of things around here that I don't want to get wet. Like, you know, freshly primered, body fillered parts. So, detail guys. Please refrain from commenting on how badly I'm damaging the clear coat. Also, I'm pretty sure this is single stage paint, so no clear coat to begin with. After the saddest car wash possibly ever posted on YouTube, we can really take a good look at the exterior of the Firefly. And I don't know what it looks like on the big screen, but on the GoPro screen, it looks a lot better than it really is. That's it for the cosmetic stuff. Now I'm gonna move that Subaru out of there and we'll put her up on the hoist and uh, we'll really get down to it and see if this was a good buy or if I've made a huge mistake that I will never financially recover from.
So with the frame rail patch a great success, it's time to move over to the next uh, rusty area. And that is the frame horn. It's a little hard to see, but that is all rusted out. And that's not good, because that's where the control arm mounts. So I'm going to pull the control arm off, and I'll see maybe get the CD shaft out of the way if I need to. And uh, we'll get that fixed up. And she's all back together. Um, unfortunately, once I took it apart, I realized this was going to be a lot uh, bigger of a job than I had originally thought. I didn't realize it was that rusty. And uh, I have to do this all in one night. So I skipped the actual process and just got to work. But there we go. Solid. Well, as solid as these cars will ever be. So. That is all of the structural rust fixed on the Firefly. That's some good progress. So in the end, was it the estate sale gold mine that I was hoping it would be? No. I knew that from the beginning though. Because first problem, it's a Firefly, not a Firebird. So we're not going to be making any money on it. And uh, second problem, as you guys saw, there was some pretty substantial rust underneath. Uh, that is a common problem with these cars, especially in the salt belt. Got it patched up. Should last me a few years. And uh, I think that's what I'm going to do with it. Just going to be my little daily driver. Probably going to drive it into the ground. But uh, I'm happy with it. It has good brakes, good suspension, new brake lines. The lady that owned it before me definitely took care of it. Rust. That's just life living in Ontario. I've seen many newer cars rust out way earlier than this, so can't complain. Hope you guys liked the video, and uh, let me know what you think. Should I have just stayed away from this altogether? Was it not worth the effort? I'm happy with it, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, like and subscribe, wherever the button is. I'm not good at this. See you guys next time.